You're the one Marjorie left the castle to. Must have been quite a surprise. I didn't even know I had Marlin Island. I mean, one minute I'm Danny the actress, the next I'm Danny Queen of the Castle. I mean, how glam is that? You're an actress? What would I have seen you? Uh, well, I played a nurse in McCurtis Hospital. <sighs> McCurtis Hospital? Oh, you've heard of it? No. Here we are. Um, this isn't the castle. This is as far as I go. You'll find the castle on the other side of those woods. Good luck. You're going to need it. Got to be kidding me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've really got to be kidding me. The castle. And I own an actual horse, but round here we tend to start with hello. Sorry, feeling a bit of <laughs> cartel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing you must be Danny. Anna, I'm guessing you're from Manchester. Well, we moved here a while back. Our dad's the groundskeeper here, so he sent us to meet you. I'm Kate, and this is Leo. Leo the Magnificent. Oh, certainly not Leo the Modest. <laughs> he thinks he's a magician. Pick a card. Memorise it. Put it back in the pack. Okay. Is this your card? No. Is this? Anyhow, uh, should we head inside? You're gonna love the place. Dad's work took him to Manchester when we were little. They came on to Bogmore a couple of years ago. Oh, I need to call my friends. They are not going to believe this. <laughs> Why can't I get a signal? Well, it does slightly depend on which way the wind's blowing. Please tell me this place has Wi-Fi. Oh, of course. There's an internet cafe down in Ballyshini. Oh, well, where's that? Ten mile walk or so. Although it did sort of burn down. Oops. Ladies and gentlemen, for my next trick, I shall make the fire brigade appear. Just, just a, just a bit. Find the signal. No internet. Well, maybe this is my big chance to get back to nature. <coughs> exactly. Who wouldn't want a castle, right? Unless it's hard. Um, here's a map of the area. Uh, Bogmore Village, Mount Bogmore, Lake Bogmore. Is that up in the window? Nobody else here. Shall we? <laughs> this is going to be amazing. Just a draft. This way. Wow. So, what do you reckon, Danny? <coughs> <coughs> well, it has potential. <coughs> Absolutely, it has potential. Also, rats. <laughs> oh, with a bit of work, it could have a real homely feel. And so what if it needs a clean and there's junk everywhere? I just can't believe this is all mine. Uh, well, we better go check everything's up and running. Uh, give you a minute to soak it all in.
How many of my ancestors have lived here? <laughs> Hello? Can I help you? Um, I'm Danny, and, well, I guess this is my castle. Your castle? My lady? Oh, um, I inherited it from a long lost aunt. <laughs> what's with the my lady? I mean, what century are you from? <clears throat> Sorry, <laughs> not cool. You're feeling warm? <laughs> Why would I be feeling warm? <laughs> you said you're not cool. Seriously, who are you? I'm the... the local... Art, yes. I'm the art historian for this parish. I'm doing an inventory of the paintings, my lady. You know, ordinary 20th century behaviour. It's the 21st century. Obviously. Right, okay. Well, we've got hot water and everything. Danny, what's the matter? Well, I was just talking to this guy. He, he was right here and now he's disappeared. Maybe he was a girl. Finish that word and I'll feed you to Prince William. I'm sorry? Oh, it's what I call my horse. Goat! Maybe she was talking to a goat. A goat. <laughs> but he said he was a local art historian. Great hair, good bone structure, kind of, um, swoony. Sounds like a spectre to me. Leo? A ghost. <laughs> Come on. Everyone around here thinks the castle's haunted. Then they're stupid. There's no such thing as ghosts. <laughs> I'm updating my ghostly book. And all that's left to say is... Soul! Soul? Scream out loud. Go with it, brother. You're so 18th century. There are people in the castle, Esme. Real human beings. I just conversed with one. You spoke to a human? She said this is her castle. That she inherited from Marjorie. She seemed nice and she didn't even know I was a ghost, so... You cannot speak to humans. Ghosts and humans don't mix, Gabriel. But, uh, you know you're scared of wasps. <laughs> well, that's how most humans feel about ghosts. Nope. The castle was locked with a big chain. No one's been in here for months. There must be a perfectly rational explanation. Well, whoever it was, I hope he comes back. I could really do with a friend while I'm here. Oh. Leo, mind! <laughs> hey, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> Nothing like making an entrance. I know, I know. Soak it up, soak it up. Swagalicious. <laughs> yeah, I meant that. What are you doing in my castle? Your castle? <laughs> this is my castle. We need to get rid of them before they get rid of us. We need to scare them out. No! As your elder, I forbid you from scaring the humans. Gabe, we've both been around for over 200 years. The whole Big Brother routine doesn't apply anymore. We are going to make friends with the humans. I want to show them that there's more to ghosts than being frightening. Except you're not even frightening. We are trying it my way. Fine. But if I so much as get a sniff that your way isn't working, those humans better watch out. <laughs> uh, I don't suppose this human girl is attractive by any chance. I didn't even notice what she looked like. <laughs> <laughs> wow, just look at this place. It's fantastic. I went from owning nothing to owning this whole castle. <laughs> I ask you again before you demolish this whole castle, who are you? Jimmy, I should inherit this place. I'm an aunt I didn't know I had. Dream on shades. Danny just inherited this place off an aunt she didn't know she had. Dream on, Freckles. I think you found I've got a deed here that says that this place is mine. In your face. <laughs> In your face. In your face, actually. Um, mad theory. But I don't suppose there's a teeny chance you both also have a cousin that you didn't know you had. Well, if we're cousins, we're probably from great grandma's side of the family. The poor side. Depends on who you ask. There's some small print here. Check the fire, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
My dearest Danny and Jimmy. I apologise for this surprise, but it is my final wish that I bring together the two warring sides of our family. Wow, well, I'm good at vices. <laughs> By giving each of you half of my home to do with as you will. Well, 50% of the castle is better than no percent. You know, I think I'm really going to like it here. <laughs> Meant that. Kate! What's up? Cool shades. You know. Well, uh, we'd better get back. So, we'll leave you two to uh, untangle the branches of your family tree. <laughs> wait! <gasps> Caitlin, wait. Call me if you need anything. Well, I haven't got any signal. How am I going to call you? Oh, uh, just go to the top tower. Oh, can I get signal there? No, but if you open the window and really, really shout, Caitlin! <laughs> Boy, shit. Just to out carry to the village. Bye. Right. Menda! <laughs> Jimmy, do your family really want you living all the way out here in this big old castle? Well, you're my family. Yeah, but we don't even know each other. I mean, how's this gonna work, us living together? But if you really don't like it, I'm sure you've got a place you can go back to. Don't know about that. And my parents just sold the house to go off around the world with my brother. I'm not entirely sure where home is anymore. Sounds like this place came along just at the right time, then. Just look at that view. It's proper high death. Yeah, probably because it's real, but, yeah, we're really lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Ow! What was that for? There's only so much gazing at landscapes I can do before boredom sets in. Time for some fun. What is it? These look like bills. By the looks of things, Auntie Marjorie owed a lot of people a lot of money. So what? She's not here anymore. End of problem. Well, not for us. We inherited the castle, so we inherited the debts. Meaning? Meaning if we can't pay these off, then we're going to have to sell the castle. What? This is a nightmare. <laughs> <clears throat> you! <clears throat> Why did you disappear too earlier? <sighs> Pan inspection. <clears throat> my lady, I'm not great with crowds of people. Please accept my apology. <laughs> <clears throat> did you uh, change your hair? No. How are you finding your castle? Stressful. It sounds like you might need a friend. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it would be nice to have someone to hang out with, someone my own age. Yes, your age. Of, of course I am your age. Or just the tiniest bit older. Danny? Oh, I can introduce you to Kate. Castle warming present. Oh, wow, did you make this? Nah, I found it by the bins behind the back of the village bakery. Oh. <laughs> Joking. Oh. <laughs> How's everything going? Oh, sorry. Um, I've been mucking out Prince William. You've been mucking out Prince William? <laughs> oh, your horse. Yeah. Um, it's just mud, though. Probably. Forget it. The state of these floors, it hardly matters. Anyway, let me introduce you to... He's done it again. Well, let me guess. Your magically disappearing art historian? He's real. Well, Harry Houdini, the master illusionist, believed that the dead could contact the living. So do I. Oh, here we go again. This place is haunted. That's why your art fella keeps going past. <laughs> ghost! An actual ghost! Please tell me you can see that. I can see it, but I refuse to believe it. Told you. Be gone, spirit. <laughs> Be gone, spirit. Are you serious? You actually thought I was a ghost? I think you're an idiot. I knew it wasn't a ghost. <laughs> I hate you already, and I don't even know you. Jimmy, what are you doing? Welcome to 
It's medieval land! I'm sorry? It's how we pay off Aunt Marjorie's bills. We turn this place into a medieval theme park. Awesome! Oh, I could put on little magic shows with the medieval torture team. Ladies and gentlemen, I need a volunteer to strap into these thumb screws. Yeah, and we could have a roller coaster called the Mega Jars. Oh, and we could have a medical centre for people who need treatment because they keep coming up with ludicrously over the top ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, I hate to say it, but it would just be easier if we sell this place and clear off the debts. I'm not selling my home, Danny, and neither are you. End of story. I'm out of here. Time. I'm going as fast as I can. It's almost cutting me in half. Remember, can someone give me a hand getting out of this, please? <laughs> that guy, he was definitely here. You really think this place is haunted? I can feel it. A magician has a sense of these things. I mean, the sightings going back hundreds of years. Well, I've moved around a lot, mate. I can't see I've seen too much evidence that ghosts actually exist. Well, there's a book around here on the history of the castle's hauntings. Aha! <laughs> so, Jimmy? Jimmy? Who's a pretty boy? To befriend the humans? Exploring a creepy secret passageway on his own? Come on, he was asking for it. <laughs> I wish they'd just leave. She truly is so pretty. Did I just say that out loud? You've got a crush, haven't you? You've gone and got yourself a crush on a human. This is why you wanted to be friends? Uh, nothing's happened. Well, I'm going to make sure it doesn't. You're a 250-year-old dead ghost, and she's, well, not. Never going to work, Gabe. It's just going to cause trouble. Enough of this being friend business. It's time to do it my way. It's time to get scary. Real scary. Hello? Hi? Yeah, yeah, it's Danny. I've managed to find the one spot of signal in the castle. Yeah, everything's fine. Yeah. OK, it hasn't quite gone as expected. It's just things are a little bit stressful. And, and there's this guy who keeps disappearing. And, hello? Hello? <sighs> I give up. We are spirits, lost souls, leave our home. You again? Right, I want some answers. Why do you keep disappearing? Because he's a ghost, you foolish human. He's a ghost. Right, and what are you supposed to be? A munchkin. <laughs> Did Jimmy put you up to this? Right, that is it. I've had enough. How dare! 
dare she not be scared of me? Oh, listen, you. Ever heard of Nokia? What is with all the garlic? It keeps vampires away. I thought it might wear it with ghosts too. <laughs> you won't believe what I just saw. There are no ghosts. Just you playing stupid tricks. Who are those people? What are you on about? The girl and the cute scary boy? I know that friend's yours. Ah, so you've seen them as well? Right. I want answers. Are you trying to scare me off so you can have this place to yourself? No, never! My lady! <laughs> listen to me. I'm sorry. Don't I... listen to him and he's not sorry. <gasps> you are ghosts! No, she believes me! Boom. <laughs> Face it. You've always been rubbish with girls. So you were up all night? Well, we weren't going to go to bed, not after what we saw. Are you sure you and Jimmy didn't just have a really vivid dream? What? We both had the exact same dream at the exact same time? May I take this opportunity to say to you all, I told you so. <laughs> Leo, you seem to be the resident ghost expert around here. How do we get rid of them? How can you be an expert on something that doesn't exist? Wait, why do you want to get rid of them? Because they're ghosts and they're creepy. But this is their home too. You've changed your tune. Last night you were all... No, <laughs> <That> wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I had seen that. That's before I knew they were family. Well, mostly before. They're not our family. They're our distant dead ancestors. We'll never be able to sell this place if it's infested with dead people. But we're not going to sell. We've got no choice. We're going to have to. So, Leo, what did your Houdini guy know about getting rid of ghosts? They know, Danny. I'm with Jimmy on this one. Ha. Huh. I'm not sure it's right to just get rid of them. Leo. Think of what they could teach us. This is a rare opportunity to... Leo, if you don't help Danny with her imaginary ghost problem, I'll tell Dad where you hid those banned stage pyrotechnics. This book contains detailed instructions for casting a banishing spell, but we're going to need a few things. Whatever it takes. What? No. I'm going to go speak to this game in Esme and make you realise that you've got no right to sell their home. All right, Jimmy. Let's, let's go speak to the scary ghost. Swear delicious. Right, you two. Let's bust these ghosts out of my castle. Are you going to need this? <laughs> yep, and after that, we can get rid of all the other imaginary things that live here. <laughs> I really thought I could reach out to her. Ghosts and humans just don't mix. We're like chalk and cheese, cats and dogs, fireworks and harpsichords. Be glad they're gone. Spectrius, Corporeal, Umbilicus, Severus, Snapius, J.K. Rowlingus. I can't believe this is actually working. Yeah, we're home. Tell me when it's over. <laughs> Gabe? Esme? Are you in here? I'm here to help. Danny's trying to banish you from the castle with some kind of spell. She wants you out of the castle so she can sell it. She wants to sell her home? You're only hiding behind a chair. What did you think we'd gone? I thought maybe you are invisible or something. Anyway, maybe if you talk to Danny and show that she's got nothing to be afraid of, then she might change her mind. And how do we know this isn't just a trick? Because I'm on your side. We are family. Wrong, brother. I, I don't know. Gabe, Esme, I'm coming. Ghosts, it's the ghosts. They're really real. See, Kate. <laughs> My lady, please, don't do this to us. Spectrius, Corporal, Umbilicus. Danny, I don't think we should be doing this. Leave us alone. I want you out of our home. It's our home too. You lied to me, Gabe. I thought you were a person. I am a person. I mean a living person. Spectrius, Corporal, Umbilicus. Be gone! My lady, please. I thought you wanted us to be friends. Spare us. Once we're gone, we're gone forever. Gabe? Okay, I won't banish you. Thank you. 
my lady. Yeah, thank you for trying to wipe us out of existence. Danny, stop. You have to stop. They're harmless. <laughs> oh, you have stopped. You really scared me, but I guess I don't want you gone. So, we're all gonna live together? Ghosts and humans? Under the same roof? I suppose. Only if you promise not to sell our home. Well, I can't promise that. I mean, we've got debts that we need to clear. Then let's work out how to do that together. That's what families do, don't they? We're distant family. Really, really distant family. So distant, it's as if we aren't related at all. So you know. <laughs> OK, well, why don't we put our heads together and come up with a plan? Swagalicious. <laughs> so, Kate, how are you feeling now that I, Leo the Magnificent, have proven without question the ghosts are real? Kate. <laughs> Kate, are you OK? <laughs> Oops. Looks like someone just had their entire reality blown apart. <laughs> I'm sure she'll get used to the idea, so long as there's no more of you guys hanging around. <laughs>